Welcome ATGN subscribers to the video of the final of the 2015 Star Wars uh, Queensland Regional. Uh, on the right hand side we have Tristan Twyford Jones and we have on the left hand side Ashley Kuso Cook. Um, so for this final uh, we have Tristan running two times the Emperor's Web two times Fall of the Jedi, two times Council of the Sith, two times All Out Brawl, two times Masterful Manipulation, one The Call of the Cult, and one Plan of the Prophetess. So that's 12 pods, which most would say would be absolutely crazy to run, uh, but he's doing it. Uh, some would say that perhaps that makes things too slow, not efficient enough, but uh, hey, he's got to the final and he's been quite dominant. Uh, on the other side, we've got Kuso running... One Heroes and Legends, one In You Must Go, one Survivors, two May the Force Be With You, two Heroes Trial, one Flight of the Crow, one Hidden from the Empire, and one Watches in the Wasteland. So on the other side, we've got a, such a broad spectrum of objectives that, you know, would, one would say that perhaps the deck wouldn't play consistently, but yet he's made the final two as Tristan's just Shadow to the Empire one of Kuso's objectives to send it to the bottom, uh, which is you know, a great opening move. You want to disrupt uh, the strategy of the light side. So Tristan's had a very strong run to get here. Uh, he's been practically undefeated. The only person to uh, beat him in one half of a, of a game in the uh, Swiss rounds was Kuso as they butted heads. Um, and then Kuso also playing very strongly um, was a clear second ahead of the pack. So it looks like uh, Kuso is throwing down his first Jedi there with Tactics Yoda. Uh, and then a, it looks like a nudge as well, winding the dial down. And we've enhanced Yoda. Heroes and Legends might be a very strong card to get. Uh, coming into this because if this is a four Yoda uh, scenario which uh, looks like it might be you could see him bouncing Yodas back and forward from hand which uh, gives the extra push forward uh, and there's a Kyle Katarn which is another good strike weapon so we got some strike weapons early he's attacked with Yoda and the defense of Yoda has with a uh, Royal Guard has backfired on Kuso there. Sorry, that um, that Kalkata was played at edge. Sorry, not played on the table. Things have rushed a bit faster than uh, I can keep up. So please bear with me. So Tristan refreshes and then force chokes the nudge. Straight up, wipe the board. Drawing into a hand there. So with two councils of the Sith in play, that's a very strong card draw, and he can put down anything that's not worth having with the uh, Fall of the Jedi in play as well. So it's a very strong objective draw for Sith. Uh, means that a large card cycle will happen for him. And he, Tristan's turn was simple. Play Vader, commit him to the Force. That's all he needs to do at this point. So let's see what Kuso can bring to the table. He's already lost to Yoda, which is disappointing. Um, but as I said, with so many different pods, he's got a lot at his disposal that he can throw out. But it looks like we're seeking Yoda. So the dial cranks up a further one as we pull out the other Yoda. So he lost to Yoda, but got Yoda back. So if he commits Yoda to the Force, he gets the Force struggle again. Because we've got a tactic to out Imperial Guard on the Sith side. So we'll see what he does. But he has got May the Force be with you. So he can risk trying to attack with Yoda. But he's got a Vader to defend with. So he's making Tristan put a card back into hand with that ability of one of those new characters. Forgive me, I don't know his name. But yes, he's just gone straight to committing Yoda to the Force. So he's taking the Force back rather than attack. Fair enough. So what that also does is uh, prevent Tristan from having an edge battle, which can lock up his hand. So there is, I guess, a subtle 
benefit to uh, to just committing to the force that turn, even though he didn't have any go forward. What he's successfully done is perhaps stalled Tristan, perhaps a little bit there. Now it comes a small plan that looks like we've enhanced Vader. I can't quite tell what enhancement that is. Could be Vader's lightsaber. Looks like we're attacking with Vader. At Heroes and Legends. So he'll defend with Yoda. We have an edge battle. We'll see what happens. This is an edge battle that Kuso desperately needs to win. Because if he can get the tactics down on Vader first. And it's two heats of battle. That's not good, but worth four. Looks like it's six from Kuso's side. So Kuso's won that. He's doing one damage and he's force choking the Yoda. Did Yoda get to strike? So the tactic should probably go on Vader. I think they may have missed the tactics. It looks like he let Vader strike, which he may as well do if, if uh, Yoda's going to get choked. And so he's attacking now with his Imperial Guard. Is he? Or has he just left it at that? He's left it at that, okay. So we're now over to the next turn. What will Kuso do? What can he do to try and turn this around for himself because he's lost two Yodas now to some very strong Sith control things aren't on his side he has played down a resource card and not a lot else going on he's asked obviously for a check of the discard pile there's I think three heats of battle in there now so I shouldn't have to worry about too many more of them. What will Trist what will Kuso play? He's thinking long and hard. I'm not sure of that there might be a Luke Skywalker at hand. And he's got the full resources to play him. He could just play someone and commit to the force again, but that's wasting another turn. Yep, out comes oh, it's Kuran that I saw, and he has committed into the force, so that's another turn slightly wasted. I guess he could have attacked because he has got may the force be with you. He could have still committed Kuran to the force and possibly had some punch forward for a change. Now it comes a resource card for, for Tristan. He has got the stronger board position at the moment, especially if that is a, a lightsaber on Vader, because that means Vader will have targeted strike and could easily take out Kuran with some overwhelming fire. Now it comes Zekathine. Interesting. He's a board wipe, but if the board were to right, wipe right now, it would certainly be in... Kuso's favour, so it's interesting that he's out on table. We'll have to see what happens here. So he's attacking with Vader. I'm starting to think that perhaps that is his lightsaber. So we're not sure which objective is being targeted. I'd imagine it would be Heroes and Legends. Yep, there we go. And there's the targeted strike. Ouch. So that's three Jedi's wiped in three turns. So it's all coming up Tristan right now. And that's one objective down, which cranks the dial up a further one. And uh, the Jedi stall tactics are strong if they've got go forward to take advantage of it. But at the moment, it's all stall and no push, which is not helping Kuso right now. Well, I'm interested to see what he does on his next turn, and we'll see what uh, what objective will come up next, which uh, actually should have come up before the draw phase, but all comes out in the wash. 
a new objective. Looks like it's a hero's trial, so we can play uh, attachments during the combat phase, during the conflict phase, which isn't overly helpful. But we had two very helpful objectives go already, one at the start with the Shadows of the Empire and the other one being destroyed just then. Heroes of Legends, I think it was a bit of a blow because he needed that extra push if he could start bouncing Yodas or Lukes from hand. Although, one thing we do need to keep in mind is that um, Kuso's running a lot of one-offs in his deck, so the chances of him having two of the same character are quite slim unless he's running several pods of the same character, which you look at Heroes of Legends as Kyle, so there are two Kyles, and you must go as a Yoda. The Survivors is Kuran, and the Force Be With You is Yoda. Heroes Trials Luke. Flight of the Crow is the Moldy Crow. Uh, hidden from the Empire, <coughs> I believe, is that um, old librarian woman. I can't remember. I don't even think I can pronounce her name. And then Watchers in the Wasteland is Obi Wan. So we'll see. There's not much call for, I guess. Uh, you'd have to get lucky to pull a combo that would allow that objective to work properly on Heroes and Legends. So, anyway, just one Chud thrown down. Not much going for him there, but at least it's two health. So, it's although yeah, it's still in choke range with Vader, he can't really control the force with it. What can you do, Kuso? It's just not coming up for you, mate. All right, so Tristan has the force. He clicks twice. We're on seven now. He's past the halfway mark. Let's see what he draws. He's still getting two cards on Kuso's turn, which is so strong. That card cycle means he gets to his power cards quicker than what Kuso will. And at the moment, it's hurting him. And I mean, he can do it because he's got <laughs> technically 60 cards in his deck. He can you know, push through all those cards because he's not exactly going to deck himself anytime soon. And if he can see the majority of his deck of 60 cards, well, I guess that's strong. So out comes Zizor and another Chud. So exceptionally strong board. If there was some way to kill Zeko, it would turn this whole game on its head. <coughs> Pardon me. In he goes with Vader and a Chud. It'll be unopposed by the look of it. Oh, there you go, that killed him. And there'll be another attack with that character. So he's got a lot of push forward, which means that even though the Sith are quite fine at just sitting back and letting the dial tick up, because he's got so much blast. Oh dear, this could be a concession there, because he's just drawn dead. Yeah, that's game. He scooped his cards because there was just nothing coming. There was just too much board presence. No ability to destroy Zekka. Just meant that next turn he was... There would be another five under the dial, which would have been a win to Tristan anyway. So that is game. Unfortunately, we didn't have a closer one. But uh, them's the breaks. So this is Marcus from ATGN. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you for the Nationals coming up in September.